Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Savers. And you know, Crystal Shard version 4.5 is upon us already. And I wanted to do a quick little video just outlining some of the major differences between version 4.5 and version 4. When it comes to tri cree style savers, there's some differences. But when it comes to NeoPixel savers, there's some major differences. And perhaps first and foremost among them, blade animations. Now, you probably can't see it on camera, and it is super bright blade in, co in comparison with the room, um, but this is an unstable effect. So each of the pixels in the blade is, is flickering at a different rate to give it a very unstable blade effect. Yeah, with the exposure dial down, you can really see the detail in the, un in the uh, unstable uh, animation. You can see the localized blaster block and all the different colors. It's perfect for my unhinged sound font, uh, for a Kylo Ren style saber. Of course, you can change the colors. The second blade animation is uh, what's called a, a rain effect. So I've got it paired with my Hawk font. And so, again, probably can't see it on camera, but you get little white pixels that, uh, that fluctuate, simulating rain, or in this case, snow, uh, hitting the blade. And with the rain effect, you can just see the uh, the spots where the rain would be hitting the blade. Very cool effect. The third effect, and perhaps the most impressive, uh, is the flame effect. And I've got it paired with my Spitfire flame. And this is really cool. You can't tell on camera, you really have to see it in person. It looks like your blade is on fire, especially in a dark room. As you can see with the exposure dialed down, the, uh, the detail in the pixels and the subtle difference in the color is really impressive. Of course, you get the blaster, localized blaster. Yeah, with the exposure dial down, you can really see the intricate differences in the colors, and the cool effects you get. Of course, it's much brighter in person, but that's what a little bit more of the detail that you're seeing with the eye. It's a ridiculously fun effect to play with. And of course, you haven't just got these flame colors. You can have green fire, blue fire, uh, really cool effect. Uh, so any saber coming with, from me with uh, a Crystal Shard 4.5 setup for a NeoPixel, uh, it's going to have six fonts. The first three are the standard blades with a standard flicker. Uh, the last three fonts will be each of these specially dialed in, tuned in, all these different blade animations so you get to see and play with all of it. Now another cool feature that uh, comes with the Crystal Shard version 4.5 is a different way of selecting color. Now this is just a standard blade uh, and if I hit both buttons at the same time, instead of just toggling colors, it actually gives me a spectrum dial. So I can dial the saber, find the color I want, hit the aux button and it locks in that color. That's how to select your color. You can also change the parameter and make it so that it, uh, it dials on the axis like a motorbike handle. You can change the color like that. Uh, that feature also works with a regular tri cree saber, not just limited to NeoPixel. So those are some of the new features coming with uh, Crystal Shard version 4.5. I hope you're as excited as I am to get your hands on this. Thanks again for watching.